Uh, feel like the movie would be pretty short, but maybe several movies would have worked. Yeah, I agree. Several movies. Or maybe a TV show. But I don't think Hideo Kojima's into TV shows. I don't know. He wants to be a movie director. Kind of conflicted. I mean, I, I would like him to be a movie director. Um because that's what he wants to do. Um, and I feel sad that he's not been able to achieve that yet. But at the same time, I want more Hideo Kojima games. It's odd. Let's pop another re um, repair spray. We're out of battery then, but we're not. Am I going the right way? Yeah. You don't understand the flavor. It's very unique. get it on Amazon. Ah, okay. Maybe it's an English thing. Could be. God damn it. What are you complaining about? To be fair, these ones are kind of watery. I don't know if you'd want to buy this one. Uh, you can bum slide on the mountain. I did know that, yes. We have done that before. I, I, I've I fully gone down quite a way. You don't think Amazon is a thing in Sweden at all? Really? I thought Amazon was the thing everywhere. Wow. Over here, like, Amazon is like... It's like a lifeblood. Like, everybody uses it. Everybody. Like, you won't find anybody that doesn't. I mean, my dad is like 70 year odd, odd years old and he uses Amazon. It's, um. Delivering cargo. It's odd. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Russia doesn't have Amazon. I need to tell you. You did it after all. Though yes, I we have Netflix, yeah. Me, imagine how. We used it last night. Uh, when we vote in Britain, do you have an ID confirmation process? You do not know. Um, when you go and vote in England, uh, you basically there's like um, a, po uh, a voting station in every lo location where you live. Uh, you'll get a, a voting card through in the uh mail to say that you're registered all you do then is you go to your polling station um they will have a list of people and postcodes and you go there and you say your name and you say your postcode where you're registered to vote at and then you vote 
and that's it. We have Amazon, uh, also the beer, but not that one. Also, material uh, is out of stock many times. Really? Oh. Uh, can't someone steal your card then? Um, yeah, yeah. You can set up the Chiral network while I work. It's it's an odd thing. Um, voting in this country isn't very. Uh, how do I say this? It's not highly prized. Like people don't really care that much about it. I mean, people care, but you wouldn't steal someone's vote. I can't. There'd, there'd be no. There'd be no gain. Yeah, exactly, Muffin. It's kind of like an ID confirmation. You you need to know which postcode, but the postcode's on your card. So if you if you had someone's polling card, you could just go and say you're that person and give them the postcode. It's not a very secure system, but like I say, it's not a. You don't have to show ID. We probably will eventually, but it's not it's not a thing. Oxygen mask. Why would I need that? Are we going higher up in the mountain? Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. It sounds big. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <laughs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock Bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? <laughs> he loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. There we go. Oh, Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you, you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Okay. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close, so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Hmm. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. You do need to update your driving license every. Uh, actually, I could tell you. I'm not going to show you my driving license, but it should say on it. Your yeah, mine expires in 2027. So that's what ten years. 10 years uh, you need a new driving license in 10 years um, but most people don't like um, some people don't have driving licenses and some people don't have passports like me and Jenny don't have a passport I only have a driving license well, recently you know um, huh. so that like m most people don't have any ID um, I mean some people will get it just so they can buy like booze and stuff but um, 
Yeah, it's 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 a weird situation over here. Okay, we need to find this ammonite. Uh, and bring it back to him, right? So we could just dump all our cargo. Let's let's dump our cargo first. Uh, private locker. Uh, we can just dump that. Uh, let's take those. Uh, yeah. And then we can recycle this. Oh. Uh, and then we can build a couple more container repair sprays. When you get over a certain age, you have to keep reapplying to make sure you can still drive. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, being able to buy alcohol in a normal grocery store is pretty strange to me. Yeah, you can buy booze anywhere over here. It's uh, quite common. Okay, let's go. So I say we're going to uh, provide us with one. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. Oh. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. <laughs> but it does, so don't. Space helmet. Cool. Um, uh, do we need a ladder? Let's take a ladder. We already have a couple of climbing anchors. Keep on keeping on. Well, luckily, it's just over here, right? So we can just... There's cargo in here. Why not? In Sweden, only alcoholic beverage under a certain percentage is sold in grocery stores. Anything above the limit are sold in a special store run by the government. Wow. Yeah, no, we have nothing like that. You can buy whatever you want uh, from grocery stores over here. Although I guess you can still buy whatever you want from your government stores. Just we don't have any government stores. Uh, oxygen mass time. Mm -hmm. I have to equip it, really. Uh, oxygen mask. We've got three. Hmm. Oh, that's why we needed a climbing rope, okay. Could we maybe... Oh, we can go all the way down.
Wait. This here. One. Three. Four. Five. And two. Oh, 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 Let's put a different mask on. I think it's ringing out a battery. Oh, it's not. My suit thing. task that was oh whoa 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 hmm. spoke too soon spoke too soon uh are we still wearing the mask no we're not uh it's more expensive. I think it's probably a good idea for it to be, uh, for it to be more money because then people will be more responsible with it, which also comes in with the strange times that it's open. I can understand the thought process behind the government selling the alcohol. It makes a lot of sense, but at the same time, I kind of it feels a bit too much like uh, nannying. Does that make sense? Like I don't want I don't want the government telling me what I can do. Or controlling what I can do. But then again if it if it decreases because we have we have such a massive problem with drunk people in this country. Um binge drinking is rife. Uh so if it maybe makes people more safe, then I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like they control too much and they'll let people take their own responsibility. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's a fine line, isn't it? Uh, small breweries could lower the alcohol content, mean sell it other places, less money, keep a higher percentage, like wine spirits at a higher price point. That is pretty cool. Yeah. If the, if the store owners have the ability to not sell you booze although i think maybe they'd do the same in this country but it's up to the store Delivering cargo. the cashiers yeah yeah exactly Preserved. Uncannily even. Yeah, this, the kind of booze that you can buy in this country it can be a bit ridiculous. Like you can get like the, the cheap, like really cheap booze that gets people drunk really quickly. It's I mean that's why you have alcoholism. It's I don't know. <laughs> 